me do my Let's go. We got a sweep on our hands, boys. Let's go. We came up to Fenway. We faced the Cy Young Award winner. We took him out. We faced Chris Sale. We took him out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, my nigga. Let's go. We went late. Holiday came up clutch. If I die today, it'll be a holiday. Let's go. Masahiro Tanaka. Big boy A stuff. Let's go. Night Street. Complete game shutout. I don't want to hear nothing from you Boston guys. Nobody. I don't want to hear nothing. Let's go. We went up to Fenway. We made a statement. We here. We here. Yankees ain't ready. We going to see. We going to see. We beat y'all with pitching. We beat y'all with hitting. We beat y'all with timely hitting. We beat y'all in home runs. Everything. Let's go. Get out of here. And we gave Didi Gregorius tomorrow. And Gary Sanchez is almost back. Let's go. We 13 and 7. Aaron Judge almost got more home runs than your whole team, fam. Let's go. He's the Yankees, baby. We back. Went right up to Fenway. We took those two games from both of y'all. Who's pitching, Because you're batting. Is Tanaka aware that he's thinking? World Series. You know, I think if he, if he, yeah, Chris Sale, we can beat y'all anyway. We can beat y'all with the bat. We can beat y'all with pitching. There ain't nothing we can't beat you with. We got a better bullpen. Let's go. You let the baby bombers out here beat you. Come on, man. Come on, boys. Let's go, Yankees. Let's go. Ain't nothing better than going to Boston getting two W's than getting a sweep, series sweep. I see you guys back up there in Boston in July. That's how you pitch like an ace. Let's go, Tanaka-san. And he did it under 100 pitches, fam. Let's go. It's Tanaka. This Tanaka, boys. <laughs> we went up there. We took it from y'all, man. We 13 and 7. And we let some games get away from us. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I don't want to hear nothing. Up in Fenway, y'all need to be worried, man. Y'all need to be worried. Because the Yankees is here. All right? It's not going to be Toronto y'all got to worry about. Nope. Y'all got to worry about Baltimore, too, but you got to worry about the Yankees. We up here, we pitching well. We got a good bullpen. We young. We energetic. We exciting. Let's go. Let's go, Yankees. This ain't the same old Yankees. This, don't, this ain't going to be the, the team that's going to run out of gas at the end. These are young kids. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Yankees, man. Keep the pinstripes on. Keep the pinstripes strong. I seen earlier, I was uh, a little excited, to say the least, um, because every win against Boston is just a little sweeter. I just, it's not, I know all games are supposed to be equal, but they're really not. Um, it is a little sweeter. I do have friends that are Red Sox fans, and I like to throw that in their face because that's just what a rivalry is supposed to be. And I'm, I hope that we do get back into this rivalry. I hope that this can hopefully spark something. A lot, uh, there were some people that they were telling me, look, just temporary expectations. We're only 20 games in. I'm just going to say this. We were 8 and 17 last April. 
We're 13 and 7 right now. The New York Yankees are on a roll. They lead the major leagues in ERA. I mean, they're tops across the board in ERA. I mean, the numbers, they're all up there. If we came into the season and you told me, all right, Joe, you're going to miss D.D. Gregorius for shoulder strain. You're going to miss Gary Sanchez with a bicep strain. Also, Bird is probably going to be in the biggest slump of his life. I would have said, man, may our God be with us. But you know what? The team pulled through, and now we're getting toward the end of April, and we have a winning record. We got a big series tomorrow against the Orioles, and you know what? We got to take two out of three against the Birds, because this is a battle for first place right now. Yankees last year spent zero days in first place, and the fact that we can leave this weekend in first place as a possibility is something that's tremendous. I'm really proud of this team. Today, because of his numbers, I have to give the ball, the game ball, to Masahiro Tanaka. He came through today as an ace should. I said yesterday, today's game is going to be a pitcher's duel. And all we have to do to beat Chris Sale is capitalize on the mistakes. And what did we do? We did that. Chris Sale ended up having a pass ball. Matt Holliday had a phenomenal left bat. He had a great night, by the way, and hopefully he's breaking out of his slump. But Matt Holliday had a phenomenal left bat against Chris Sale, and he ended up getting that sack fly. And just those little things are what get you those wins um, because the team feels that they can win any which way. It's not only by the home run. Now we can win by hits. Now we can win without hits. Now we can win by putting the ball in play. And you know what? All of that is encouraging. It's just really good energy happening right now with the team from the Bronx. Matt Holliday today uh, has to get an honorable mention for today. Even though he did not get the game ball, Matt Holliday today was two for three. Uh, I put it earlier, he was two for three with two key RBIs. One of them was that sack fly that I mentioned earlier off of that great at bat. The second one was in the ninth inning when we were able to tack on that second run that was able to take the wind out of the Red Sox sails and was able to let Tanaka be at ease and finish off the complete game. Tanaka's pitching line, and Tanaka now moves to three and one after that real questionable start where he was still kind of finding himself. And I believe, I think it's safe to say he kind of found himself in this start. Tanaka right now is three and one. Um, he ended up lowering his ERA. Every start, he has been lowering his ERA, but now he lowered his ERA to four. Nothing short of exceptional. The guy had... You can't ask for anything more from a starter. You really can't. Uh, can't pitch a game better than that unless you're pitching a perfect game. The guy had nine innings, only three hits to the Red Sox offense, which is supposed to be this powerhouse offense. And don't give me this... Oh my God, Pablo Sandoval is missing. Oh, oh, come on, give me a break. That team, I don't know what's going on with that team. That's not my business. I wouldn't doubt it if Dave Dombrowski was on the phone trying to call David Ortiz for help. Hey, can you come in, you know, maybe give us some pinch hit appearance? Whatever, man. I'm so glad that guy saw off that team because that team is completely different. I don't fear anybody on that offense. Nobody. You know what? Things may change for them, but you know what? I hope it doesn't. Tanaka only had, I mean, even though he had, he had his nine innings, walked none, and three hits and three Ks. I don't really care about the Ks. The guy went out there and he gave me a performance that... The Red Sox bats look feeble. They couldn't get the ball off the floor. It just reminded me of those Ching Men Wong starts that I used to love them because the, the game was quick. He used to pitch complete games under 100 pitches. It was just very efficient. Tonight's game was two hours and 20 minutes. That's a dream to watch a baseball game. That's a great pitcher's duel. Chris Sale has a, a great pace on the mound. Uh, Tanaka has a great pace on the mound. Those guys get the ball. They pitch it. They're ready to go. This was a big game. This was a big statement game early in the season to let people know that we're here, that we're not afraid, that we are going to be contenders in this ALE somehow, some way, wild card, whatever you call it. It was a statement out there to the lead to let them know, you know what? Yeah, you guys maybe have been saying that our schedule has been weak per se, but you know what? We face the Red Sox right now, the guys that you picked to be tops in the division, and we just beat them. It is early. 
But you know what? I'll take my wins. This is some great news for tomorrow. Didi Gregorius is back, and he's going to be at the stadium tomorrow playing short for the New York Yankees. Of course, where, is he, where else is he going to play? And to get Didi back, that's a huge lift. Toe, you've been doing great. And you know what? You're going to give some of, a lot of the guys days off now, you know, giving Castro a day, giving Headley a day, giving Didi a day. And you know what? We may even put you in the outfield. You filled in great. And I'm glad that you have that confidence, but now, you, you know, it's time for you to go back to your role, and it's time for Didi Gregorius, who's been killing his rehab assignment, to come back up here and be that big-time defensive glove at shortstop and bring that left-handed bat back to Yankee Stadium against the O. If, you, if this is your first time in the channel, man, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button for all your Yankee news, for all your recaps, for all your, um, for all your reactions, and make sure you guys hit the like button, too, if you do like the video. Even if you don't, hit the, hit the, hit the unlike or whatever it is. Um,